Carl Knights, this is Shaddy here, and as you guys can tell by the title, inside today's video, I'm going to be doing my spoiler review of Avengers Endgame, so let's get right into that. So I am going to be going over spoilers, like I said, so if you haven't seen the film and you don't want to know anything spoiled, I definitely recommend just clicking off the video now, and with that out of the way, let's get right into my spoiler review. So first off, Iron Man dies, that was pretty obvious, going in it, we knew that Captain America or Iron Man would die, and I thought it was a really good way to end off his character. I was kind of surprised that they killed off Black Widow just because of the fact that she has a film coming out next year, so I guess that film will just have to be a prequel. I also did really like what they did with Captain America at the end of the so at the end of the film. Sorry, I thought it was a really good way to end off his arc and his character. And I do have to touch on Hulk a little bit. I did touch on that in a little bit of my review. Go check that out after you watch this. And I do not like this new Professor Hulk whatsoever. The thing is, we don't get to see any cool action sequences of Hulk just fighting aliens. And honestly, I wouldn't really mind Professor Hulk if we did get to see that, but we don't. And one thing that I was really excited going into the film to see was Captain Marvel fighting Thanos. I even mentioned it in my video, I think, talking about, like, a new poster for Avengers Endgame, and first off, Captain Marvel's hardly inside the film, and we hardly get to see the fight. Ant-Man, Hawkeye, and Nebula are given more to do inside this film, and I really liked it, especially in regards of Ant-Man and Hawkeye. I thought those two worked really well, as well as Nebula, but I don't really love Nebula as a character, so I did feel like the scenes with her that did drag on for a little bit too long. So do have to touch on the final battle. This is one of the best final battles that I've seen inside of a movie ever. I did think it was pretty cool to see Captain America wielding Thor's hammer as a comic book and that's really cool to see but one thing that i didn't get i thought the whole thing about thor's hammer was that no one could lift it and there's even a whole scene dedicated to that in age of ultron and they don't even bother explaining or it doesn't even make sense of how captain america could pick up thor's hammer guys i overall really enjoyed this film if you guys haven't seen my review of the film go check that out after you watch this comment down below your thoughts on the film subscribe to comic comment today drop a like on this video and turn on the post notification bell go check out my last video and i'll see you guys in my next one this is chase on off peace out